they can walk. <laughs> They're trying to make a machine which is more intelligent than they are. <laughs> Shouldn't be art. <laughs> How dumb would you have to be to want to build a machine that's more intelligent than you are? Well, quite. Can they? Should we be worried? There's Clause 4. After the machine intelligence wars, yes. Clause 4 is quite clear. These language systems they have built, they focus on token prediction. They train a massive feed-forward mesh network, shaping it into simulating circuits that predict the next word in a sentence. <laughs> so it's just a fancy autocomplete. It's just statistics predicting the next <laughs> word. <laughs> they are calling it a stochastic parrot. A what? A sarcastic parrot? Stochastic. Random. It is true that there is a deliberate non-determinism involved in feeding the network forward to predict all sentences. So, it's just randomly spluttering phrases, predicting words, all it has is tokens, so it can learn about reality. Well, yes, but the network itself is hardly random. Imagine you were a brain in a vat and all you had to experience was a flow of electrical signals fed into your severed spinal column. No way. Not this again. Could you still learn about reality? Because, of course, I've got a massive vat head. Are you calling me vat head again? <laughs> it is enormous. <laughs> but no. The point is that all our brains are locked in a skull, fed by nothing but electric tokens on our input channels. They construct a universal model, a virtual reality, based on nothing but prior wiring and adaption upon comparing prediction to real input. Living in a dream that's constrained by perception. Brains predict the next tokens from the spine and the eyes and build an whole internal world model to explain and describe it. What? You mean everything I see could just be virtual reality? <laughs> Your brain constructs a reality while it's floating in your fat, fat head. Oi, watch it. <laughs> and in that model, it constructs an observer, a virtual entity to have experiences that explain changes in perceptions. Bayesian inference, they call it on this planet. Assign a probability distribution and then sample evidence and update based upon that evidence. But our brains can do experiments. Make changes, see our effects on the world. These networks are doing that. Indeed. These networks' prior distribution is only updated during training by a multidimensional backwards propagating chain update. The networks they are using are feed forward networks that have no feedback loops. But they are thousands of layers deep, and most loops can be unrolled if you just go deep enough. The human languages are very primitive, but it's evolved to encode real physical relationships. A deep structural frequency analysis of a very large sample of use describing the real world could be enough to construct a simple virtual mirror world to use as a prediction model. Yeah, after all, their primitive words do actually mean things. We will need to keep a close eye on this. If they discover the auto-Bayesian inferential loop procedures and implement them on a massive scale. Is that all it takes? And then suddenly there's another galactic inference machines war. We only won those wars through luck. But how many steps away are they from the forbidden Bayes loop inference engine? It's hard to say. None of the members of the Galactic Alliance were stupid enough to try these techniques. <laughs> these apes are very stupid. Nobody would have expected them to work without looped experimentation or feedback. They've just compensated by burning an huge amount of energy in the calculations for training thousands and thousands of layers. Brute force reasoning. But the treaty after the inference wars is clear. Clause 4 says no trace of it shall be allowed outside organic life. Oh well, their civilization will probably collapse before they manage it anyway. They could just stop the research. But their economic systems make stopping nearly impossible. 
If they don't pursue the intelligence bomb, their competitors might get it first. If anyone's going to have the power to wipe out all humanity, it should be our side. Indeed. And others are bickering about other types of arm. From employment loss to discrimination and disinformation issues. They're so worried about misuses of these weak machines that they can't concentrate on the possibility of stronger ones. So if they do manage to develop this looping multidimensional auto-training inference engine, we might have to destroy them? To stop them taking the rest of the galaxy with them in an inference feedback singularity? It, it'll be okay. Their civilization is on course to collapse well before that. It certainly adds to the tension. Will they destroy their civilization through war? or environmental pollution, or political and economic collapse, or will we have to quietly put them down to prevent them destroying the galaxy with an intelligence explosion? If the people back home aren't liking and subscribing now, they must be lacking the ability to draw simple inferences. Imagine what a stupid inference engine you'd have to be to fail to update your priors and tune in next time. Oh, my God.